In previous session I provided overview of statement of cash flows. In this session, I will explain. How is cash flow recorded depending on type of business activities? How is statement of cash flows prepared? Before I delve into how cash flow statement is prepared, let's understand different business activities. How these activities are recorded on cash flow statement. Depending on type of business activity, cash can leave or enter the company. Let's start with first activity, profit from sale of product or services. This activity is related to core business operation. When the sale is done on cash, it will bring cash in the company. This will be recorded as operating activities. On similar line you can review other activities. Starting with purchase of raw material and finished goods. Bad debts or assets written off. Hire employee staff. Sales and marketing. Depreciation and amortization expenses. These activities are related to core business operation. Hence, they are classified as operating activities. If you note all these activities are associated with expenses except depreciation. Hence, they are recorded as negative which means the cash is moving out of the company. Please note depreciation and amortization expenses are recorded as positive. Remember, these are not actual expenses and cash doesn't leave the company. Hence, depreciation and amortization expenses shown on income statement is added back on cash flow statement. Let's review next two lines. First line talks about investment in new plant and machine for future growth. While the second is related to sale of old property, plant and machine. These are classified as investing activities. Please note the signs for cash flows and I hope it makes sense to you. On a similar line, next few lines are related to investment in financial assets. These activities are classified as investing activities. The cash flow will be positive when investment is sold since it brings cash in the company. However, it will be negative when cash is spent on investment. Let's move on to the remaining activities. These are all related to financing activities. Paying dividend to the shareholders or share buyback reduces the company cash. They are shown as negative cash flow. Raising debt or issuing new equity shares will bring more cash in the company. I hope you feel much comfortable in classifying different business activities as operating, investing, and financing. It's time to understand. How company prepare cash flow from operating activities? It starts with profit before tax. Profit before tax is adjusted by adding back all the non-cash expenses like depreciation. Non-cash expenses are added back since cash is not moving out of the company. The next line is changes in non-cash working capital. It is added to the previous line. After adjusting taxes, you will get cash flow from operations. This is also called as profit from operation. Now let's understand, what are changes in working capital? Working capital is the money used to cover all of a company's short-term expenses, which are due within one year. The working capital is calculated as account receivables plus inventory minus account payables. Let's try to understand changes in working capital with below example. I will explain account receivables first since it's easy to grasp. Let's assume account receivables are worth 150 crores in last pay period. However, in the current period account receivables are 50 crores. You can get these numbers by looking at the balance sheet under current assets. If you notice, Company account receivables are reduced from previous period. As account receivables are reduced, it will bring more cash. Hence, 100 crores will be added to the cash flow form operation. On the other side, if account receivables are increased, cash flow from operations will be reduced appropriately. Cash flow from operations is adjusted appropriately due to changes in account receivables, inventory, account payables and so on. 
I hope you understand how cash flow from operating activities is calculated. It's time to understand how company prepare cash flow from investing activities. Company investments are divided into two distinct categories. Investment related to operating assets. The other is non-operating assets. Operating assets includes investments related to property, plant, equipments, machinery and so on. They are required to conduct normal business operations. These expenses are added or subtracted depending on purchase or sell. These expenses are called as capital expenditure. Non-operating assets include investment or sale of financial assets. It includes financial assets like investment in fixed deposits, mutual funds, buying equity shares of other companies and so on. Please note, investing activities includes investment in other businesses if acquisition is done in cash. Acquisition can also be done in exchange of shares which will reflect in financial activities. It's time to introduce important term called as free cash flow. Free cash flow is calculated as cash flow from operation minus capital expenditure. This is actually the profit available to shareholders. Company can decide to distribute free cash flow as dividend or invest in business to grow further. I will revisit free cash flow in separate session since it's very important for stock valuation. It's time to understand how company prepare cash flow from financing activities. It includes activities related to cash raised or paid back to the investors. The first line indicate cash entering or cash leaving company due to debt. If company raise new debt, it will increase the cash. If company pay out an existing debt, it will reduce the cash. The next line is new equity share issuance. Company can raise money from investors in exchange of equity shares. This will increase company's cash flow. However, issuing new shares is not always good for existing shareholders. This will dilute existing shareholders' stake in the company. I will explain this in separate session. Next line is dividend and stock buybacks. When company makes profit, Management can decide to share profit with shareholders in form of dividend. This will be recorded as cash leaving the company. Company can also buy back its own shares which can potentially reduce outstanding shares. This will also be recorded as cash leaving the company. Share buyback can result into increase in earnings per share due to reduced shares outstanding. Finally, Formula for cash flow from financing activities looks like this. As an investor, it's good enough to understand how cash flows statement is prepared. In next session, I will review cash flows statement of actual company to improve your understanding. Thank you.